The Siberian Husky is a seriously impressive breed. They are very high energy dogs with a strong willed mindset that have been incredibly popular globally due to their stunning appearance. In today's video we will be comparing this strong and powerful breed with the Kangal. Bred as a shepherd's companion and a guardian of livestock, they're strong willed and loyal in nature. Welcome back to the Fenrir Husky Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Mimi. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Siberian Husky and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Huskies. So if you're a lifelong Husky lover, you're thinking about getting one or you're just starting your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Husky video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. It is believed that the Siberian Husky originated among a tribe of Siberian nomads known as the Chukchi. The dog's history is pretty unknown, but according to DNA tests that have been done, they appear to be among the oldest of dog breeds. The Chukchi tribe used the dogs as fast transportation and as a family dog. The Huskies would often sleep where the children did and provided warmth for them in the cold climate. The Husky was imported to Alaska in 1908 and were used as sled dogs. It is said that the final Siberian Husky was exported from Siberia in 1930 when the borders were shut by the Soviet government but the breed continued on in North America. The Kangal is a Turkish shepherd dog that is thought to have ancestors that date back 6,000 years. It is believed that tribes from Central Asia brought the first Mastiff type dogs into the area now known as Turkey, and sighthound breeds from southern regions are believed to have contributed to the Kangal's agility and tall appearance. Due to the climate of the area and the rural terrain, the locals were dependent on their flocks of sheep to live. The Kangal as a breed was the protector of the sheep and the shepherds themselves, staying with them through night and day, running quickly from one side of a scattered pack to another, and standing up to large and strong wild predators. Intense breeding of only the best working dogs resulted in a very uniform dog with an incredible ability in protecting the flocks. They would protect the flock with their lives against large wild animals, making them very desired in the area. The Kangal is an impressive sized dog breed with males standing up to 32 inches and females standing up to 31 inches tall at the shoulder. Males tend to weigh around 110 to 150 pounds and females between 80 to 120 pounds. The Siberian Husky massively differs to the Kangal in size. Generally a male Husky stands between 21 and 23.5 inches at the shoulder and females usually around 20 to 22 inches. Male Huskies weigh from 45 to 60 pounds and females 35 to 50 pounds. Huskies come in a vast variety of coat colours and markings from black to pure white with coloured markings on the body which include reds and coppers. The breed is highly recognisable by its sharp eyes which can be brown, blue or a combination. Their faces also have mask markings which can make their eyes stand out even more. The Kangal has a short, dense and waterproof coat with a thick undercoat. It is flat and lays closely to the skin with a slightly longer area on the neck, shoulders and tail. They range from cream through to fawn to dun or steel grey with a dark or black mask and ears. They have a small amount of white on their chest, toes and chin and occasionally a black or white tip on the tail. It is super important to consider the potential health conditions that your dog could be prone to as you will need to be able to afford to care for them as they need. Huskies are generally healthy dogs, but again, as with all dog breeds, you should be aware of the certain health conditions they are more prone to than others. For the Husky, this includes hip and elbow dysplasia, bone conditions, hypothyroidism, eye conditions like cataracts. The Kangal is also prone to various health conditions including hip and elbow dysplasia, mange, glandular conditions and eye problems. Siberian Huskies are pack dogs that look to a leader for guidance. However, that being said, they are also incredibly independent and strong-willed dogs that can easily do their own thing. They are highly intelligent and so training can be both easy and hard. They learn quickly but not just commands that you teach them. They can easily learn what not to do which will need to be corrected in a calm and consistent manner. Training a headstrong dog like the Siberian Husky is a challenge and definitely requires someone that is familiar with the breed and the time and effort that is needed for such a breed. 
They are high energy dogs that need lots of exercise and different activities to prevent boredom as they can become destructive. Huskies love their families and love to play and with early socialization and proper training they can be incredible family companions. Although the Kangal was bred to protect, they are not actually an aggressive breed by nature, but they can be quite stubborn and slightly territorial. They have a steady temperament and are naturally independent and highly intelligent, which means they can sometimes be tricky to train as they are happy to do their own thing. Consistency is key when training such a strong-willed and independent breed. They are loyal to their owners and with lots of early socialization, they can be much more confident and friendly when it comes to meeting unfamiliar dogs and strangers, which is important when having this dog as a pet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Husky videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Husky Show.